Hey everyone, welcome back. Hopefully you're aware already that there is a Pac-Man core for the Turbo Chameleon. I've covered that on this channel a couple times and you'll see a card on the screen about now. What was nice about this core is you could play with vertical orientation on your monitor if your monitor has the ability to turn that way. Many if not most people don't have that ability, so what if you need it to work on just a standard monitor? It wouldn't be much fun playing it this way, looking at it sideways. Well, now there is a new updated Pac-Man core for the Turbo Chameleon. With this, you have the ability to change settings and actually flip the display on the screen so it can be viewable on a horizontal monitor. Now, no one's left behind when it comes to playing this fine core. So what's going on here? The Turbo Chameleon Pac-Man Core had an update and it largely went unreported. This update was exactly a month ago as I'm recording this. Alistair says this is one of those occasions where I have an update which looks relatively minor but which took a surprising amount of effort to make happen. He goes on to say, Some months back, I ported the current MISC Pac-Man core to the TC64. This core outputs its video exactly as the original arcade machine did, but the arcade machine had its monitor mounted vertically, not horizontally. So on a traditional desktop monitor, the game runs sideways. And as I've just shown, if you have a monitor that can swing one way or the other to be vertical, it's a really nice way to play the game. Unfortunately, a lot of people don't have, or probably most people don't have that type of monitor. He goes on to say, The Mist Pac-Man Core had no provision for rotating and scaling the video to fit landscape format monitor until now. Alistair goes on to give detail about how he accomplished this. Needless to say, it was not easy to do, but it opens up the possibility just not for this core, but for future cores. And of course, you have the new updated cores available for downloading. You need to observe whether you have a version 1 or a version 2 Turbo Chameleon. You can write over your old slot with this new core. Just as always, you need to take out the SD card with the ROMs flash the new core into that slot and then you can put your SD card back in. If you haven't written a Pac-Man core to a slot you can use this. This is not an update that requires an older core. This is a standalone core on its own. Hopefully that's self-explanatory. I don't think there's much more to say here but if you have questions leave it down in the comments section. Besides the already mentioned video about the original Pac-Man core from this missed port I also did a video showing all games that work with this core, and you can see a card on the screen right about now. That's about it. As always, I recommend you head over to Patreon for Course for Chameleon and either become a patron or show Alistair some love one way or another. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video.